Welcome to Crafting Change. I'm Tiffany Herbert, Founder and Executive Director. Today we are working on the Crafting Change Super Tote using directional fabric. We want to make sure you know how to always have your puppies facing the right direction on both sides of the bags. And we're also adding this super awesome outside pocket. Let's get started. For this modification of the Craft and Change Super Tote, we'll be using directional fabric for the main tote, a contrasting fabric for the bottom, and then a medium to heavyweight fabric for the pocket. We'll be using this vibrant red cotton webbing one inch wide from Country Brook Design. You'll need an iron. You'll need to have on hand things to mark your fabric with and whatever you like to cut and measure your fabric. You'll need pins and clips. You may need something to turn out corners and you'll wanna have a good denim needle on your machine because we're working with heavier fabrics. Let's get started. You wanna make the pattern, but you want to use directional fabric like this amazing puppy fabric. So the original pattern calls for a single piece of fabric that is 40 inches long and 19 inches wide. And so if you are gonna use a directional fabric, you just need to take that measurement 40 inches, cut it in half, so 20, and then add a seam allowance because we're gonna take two pieces and sew it together. So I have my fabric doubled up here. It's got a fold here, so it's doubled, okay? And I'm gonna go down 20 inches, right here, 20 inches, and I'm gonna add a half inch seam allowance. So I've got my line right here on 20 and a half. And I'm going to, I am not real good with a rotary cutter, bless you all who are, but I'm just gonna draw a line there. And then I'm gonna use my Hercules cutting tool, which I can do a lot better, so. All right. Okay, now we've got it turned around. My fold is right here, and I'm just going to get my selvages cut off. I've just drawn a line here to show me where I want to cut off my selvage. After you've cut your selvages off, you're just going to go over 19 inches and cut that off. Okay, now you have two pieces that are exactly the right size. They're 19 across, 20 inches, plus your little extra seam allowance. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay them right sides together, both facing the same direction. So you want your puppies kissing like this, everybody's heads going the same direction. Okay, so now these are put together really, really well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go so a straight stitch across here, I have a half inch to play with, and then I'm gonna surge across the bottom uh, to finish it off really, really well. Okay, we have joined our fabric here, and I suggest you give this seam a really good press before you start sewing the bag. There you go. This is how you can take a directional fabric and use it for pretty much any tote bag pattern. And now we're gonna continue on and we are going to make the Craft and Change Super Tote using a directional fabric. Step one, take your contrasting piece of fabric, iron under five eighths of an inch on your 19 inch edge, and then set this piece aside. Okay, this bag now, because we have joined it here at our seam for our directional fabric. And now you can see my puppies are facing different directions, the top of the bag here and the top of the bag here. The rest of this bag is gonna be put together exactly like the regular Crafting Change Super Tote. So now we're gonna start measuring. We're gonna go 12 and a half inches down from the top of the bag, down. And so I'm gonna line that up. You can see my line really well. And you're gonna do that on both sides. I'm gonna do everything on one side first. And the next thing you do is you go five inches in from the side of your bag in, and this is where we're gonna lay our straps. So I have my cheat sheet card. This five inches is a piece of cardboard from the inside of double fold bias tape. And it's how I do five inches. On 
On both of your short ends, you're going to turn under 5 eighths of an inch and then another 5 eighths of an inch. And then you're going to sew down both of those using a 3.0 stitch length. Now's the time to pin your pocket down. It goes in between all of your red lines here in this rectangle. Make sure the bottom of it hangs over the bottom line so it'll be covered by your bottom contrasting fabric. The side edges are going to be hidden by your cotton webbing. We've sewn down our pocket and now we're going to attach our cotton webbing. So on the pocket side, we're going to pin it down to the raw edges of the pocket, covering it up completely. The bottom of the pocket will be covered up by the contrast of our bag and it may be hanging lower than where our straps need to go. You just want your straps to cover up that 12 and a half inch line by about a half inch to an inch and just have that be consistent on both sides of your bag. Go ahead and pin it down now. Okay, now for the other side, before I start moving things around, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this side up. I'm gonna match it here. Clip it once so I have a good idea of how I'm going to want it to line up. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and turn it around to do this. So, got my half inch there. up make sure it's not twisted Ooh, look see that's twisted so I'll have to flip it around okay. take it over your sewing machine you're gonna sew up one side back tack a little bit and down the other you don't need to do anything down here do it up all four uh, sides here you remember this piece from our very first step where we sewed down our 5 8 inch. Now you're going to fold it in half like this and we're going to find our middle. And then you're going to take your middle and line it up with the middle of your bottom. And it's easy when we are doing directional fabric because we have a seam there. So just put your middle right there and then open it up. And then you're just gonna get it all smoothed out. You're gonna sew right along this edge and right along this edge to secure it. All right, we've attached our contrasting bottom and now it's time to give our bag nice finished inside seams. And today we're going to do that with a French seam. First step for a French seam is to lay your bag with the wrong sides together, right sides, pretty sides out, like you would use this tote bag. Then get it all clipped up. You're gonna do a very scant one eighth of an inch seam down both sides of the bag. Okay, we've done our one eighth of an inch seam here. And now we are going to wrong side out our bag. If you have any long straggly threads there or you need to trim it up a little bit, do that before you flip your bag. And if you have problems getting your corners out, use a um, point turning tool. My corners are going just fine. If you can't get your corners out, a tool like this, this is a clover one, it's my favorite. I always have to know where that thing is, but I didn't need it this time. And then I stick my hand in the bag. You can iron it if you want to, but usually just running a fingernail up along the seam like that does the job. And then now what you're gonna do, kind of roll it, you're gonna sew a quarter inch along here like that on both sides of the bag. All right, as you can see, we have our lovely French seams. And then if you look at the outside of our bag, 
it looks really, really great. And so all we have to do now is box our bottoms. We love to box our bottoms. So it is not hard at all. So this is one corner of our bag. And what we're going to do is we're going to stick our hand in our bag and get it down to the corner. And then you're going to make a triangle out of the corner. For this size bag, we would recommend three inches. And so you will take a ruler and you will go from the point up three inches and mark it. And go up the other side three inches and mark it. And then connect the two lines. And now you can either just let those triangles fly inside. Some people don't like that. And so I'm going to tack these down. You can either tack them down to the bottom of the bag or to the side of the bag. It really doesn't matter. And so all you do is you take your triangle, line up the center seam with the side seam or the bottom seam of the bag, and then just put like one pin in it. Um, and then we're going to take it over to the sewing machine. What I do is I just set my sewing machine stitch like I'm going to put a button on. So it's going to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth in the same spot and not move forward. So for me, that would be a 7.0 width stitch with a zero length on a zigzag. Don't do it right here at the tip because that is super thick and then it's thick right here. So I'm going to tack it down right here. Ta-da! We're done! How'd you do? I hope you were super successful in making this super awesome Crafting Change Super Tote. Please don't forget to check out our website, craftingchange.org, to find out the many charities across the country looking for tote bags just like this. When you participate in charity crafting, you go from crafter to craftivist. Happy crafting, everyone!